everyone. I'm so glad that you could join me for Children in Worship today. I hope that you're at home with your families worshiping together, um, participating in the singing and the signs and listening together and wondering together. Thanks for being here. Today is the third Sunday of Easter. You can see on our church year calendar, we're three Sundays into Easter as we celebrate that Jesus is risen. And we'll have another story today about how Jesus appeared to some followers. Boys and girls, welcome to the worship center. This is our special place to be with God. And in this place, we have all the time that we need so we can walk more slowly and talk more quietly because someone might be talking with God and we wouldn't want to disturb them. This is our special place to be with God, to listen to God, to hear stories from God, to sing to God, and to pray to God. So as we gather, we greet one another, and because we are in the season of Easter, we use our special Easter greeting. Alleluia! The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! One of the ways that we can talk to God is by singing. So let's sing today, God is so good. That's one of the things that we celebrate during our Easter season, is how good God is that God would make Jesus alive again. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. God's so good to me. God loves me so. God loves me so. God is so good. God's so good to me. Now it's time to hear one of God's stories. And God asks us to become quiet inside so that we can hear God speaking to us. So let's sing the words that God says to us from Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. 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 Now we're ready to hear one of God's stories. The story of the road to Emmaus. This is the season of Easter, when we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died and that God made him alive again. This is the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. Two of Jesus' friends were going down to Emmaus. They were very sad. Jesus had died. They had hoped he would be king. Why did Jesus have to die, they said. Why did Jesus die? Then someone came and walked with them. He told them why Jesus had died. When they came to the house, stay with us, they said. The man took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. Then 
They knew who he was. He was Jesus. Jesus was alive. Jesus was risen from the dead. Then Jesus left. They were so happy that Jesus was alive. They couldn't help but go back to Jerusalem and tell the disciples, Jesus is alive. He is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Let's do some wondering together about the story that we just heard. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt when Jesus died. I wonder how they knew that Jesus was alive or how they knew this person was Jesus. I wonder what it felt like to recognize Jesus in the breaking of the bread. And I wonder if you've ever been close to bread like this. I wonder how it feels to know Jesus is alive. And I wonder what it was like to go and tell others the good news that Jesus is alive. I wonder what you wonder about this story. Now it's time to read our story from the Bible. We light our Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear God's word. The Bible story that we heard today in Children of Worship, in our story, is from the book of Luke, chapter 24. And we're reading from verses 28 to 35. So if you have a Bible in your house, go grab it real quick. You can pause the video and read along with me. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he were going further. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the 11 and those with them assembled together and said, It is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way, and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now it's time to pray to God. I will start the prayer and I'll leave some space for you to pray um, by yourself or with your family. Either way, God hears us. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the people in our lives that you have sent to walk with us in faith. We thank you for those who teach us about your love for us and for the world. We thank you for parents, for grandparents, for brothers and sisters, for teachers, for pastors, for all those in this world who show us what your love means and how you love us so. So we pray to you, God, with the prayers that are on our hearts. Lord, thank you for your love for us and for all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I'm going to change the light. 
Look, now the light is all in one place, and I'm going to change the light so that it can be in many places, all at the same time. Now it's time for our benediction, our way of saying goodbye to one another and giving one another a blessing. So I'll give you a blessing, and I hope that you'll pause the video so that you can share this blessing with your family members. Friends, May the Lord bless you and keep you. Now it's time for our sending song, our way of saying goodbye and reminding ourselves that the peace of God goes with us. So let's sing together. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace, friends. Have a wonderful week.